Hey everybody, it is Tanya Thrifty Treasures. Welcome to another Member Profits where I show you our jewelry sales from our Facebook group, which is called Thrifty Jewelry Treasures. And I'd like for you guys to all come over there and join the group. And it's a great place to share your sales and ask for advice. And um, even if you just collect stuff, it's fun to show us your finds. So I'm trying something new today. So I'm gonna be screen sharing. Um, <clears throat> And I'd like to thank Ronnie Hart for teaching me how to do this over at Hart's Pickers. So if you guys don't follow him, go check him out. He sells a lot of the high-end clothing. So he's definitely a YouTuber you want to be uh, watching, especially like whenever he does his uh, sales update videos. Okay, so um, let me get over here to the screen. Hopefully you guys are seeing this okay. So... <clears throat> This is the post, what it looks like. I make a post like this once a week and I put it in our jewelry group. And it just says, just copy and paste your best sell of the week in the comments down below. And so I thought we'd go ahead and get started. We have Cynthia here and she has shared a picture and it says beautiful Victorian magnifying glass necklace sold for $40. And let's see what she paid for it. She paid no more than $2 for it. So let's See what it looks like blowing up. That is absolutely gorgeous. Very pretty. Okay. Um, let's see. Now what am I doing? Now I've just completely gone out of the whole thing. This might not be, work out the way I thought it would. <laughs> I'm trying to save time. I'm trying to get this done faster, but this just might end up being a cluster <coughs> mess to tell you the truth. Okay, so the next cell is um, from Barbara. And Barbara says, I got this Donald, Donald Duck Sterling Silver Charm for free and she sold it for $18.95. So let's see if we can look at that up close. So very little, you guys, there's so much money to be made with jewelry. <clears throat> and like I said, it, you know, it's so small, it can be stored so easily. If you're not selling jewelry, you're definitely missing out on some good profits, you guys. So thank you, uh, Barbara, for sharing that. And I'm going to have to figure out some kind of system here because this is just not working. If I'm going to have to go back this way every single time. Um, let's go up. <coughs> Excuse me, you guys. Okay, the next sell is from Maria. She says she just sold this crazy snowman earrings for $44.99. That I found the last in the last jar a few days ago. <clears throat> so, and I told her I have some just like this too. So let's take a look at them, you guys. So let me move the screen over here a little bit. So here's our listing on eBay. And the title reads Vintage Signed Wada Snowman. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Wada, Wada, Wada. Snowman Christmas glitter enamel crystals dangle earrings. And you know, if you found something like this in a jewelry jar or just even being sold separate, you might not think it's worth that much. But as you can see, they definitely go for a lot of money. And I actually have a couple pairs that I have found in jewelry jars that I haven't listed yet. One of the, I think mine are either Christmas trees or, or something like that. One of the little trees came off. I need to put it back on. But there, she's still in like the size. They fit in her hand. And see the back? There's the hallmark on the back. So it says Wada. So definitely be on the lookout for that. <coughs> I might have to go get some water, you guys. Okay, let me come over here and look at the screen. Hopefully you guys are seeing it okay. Um, all right, so let's scroll down. The next sale shared is from Beth. She says, I made my first sale just in time for Easter. $29 plus shipping, one of those days where I had time to look and use my magnifier. She paid $2. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. Let's check it out.
So her title reads, Voucher Easter Egg Basket Gold Tone Brooch Pen Costume Spring Vintage Small 735P. So I've never heard of the brand Voucher. So this is definitely something new that I'm learning also. But that is a super cute brooch. <clears throat> and I was just thinking uh, the other day, I think earrings used to be my favorite thing to sell. But the more I think about it, I think really brooches are my favorite thing to sell. So if you guys uh, think about it, let me know what your favorite one is to sell in the comments down below. Do you like to sell earrings, spares, brooches, bracelets, necklaces? Let me know. I'd be curious to find out. So Bonnie has a sale and she says, my 925 lapis lazuli, I'm sure I chopped that up, set posted in the group on Friday sold for $37. The sale price won't show on the Dutch sales website. She says she paid less than $8 for all of it. <coughs> oh, wow, that's gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful, Bonnie. Um, yeah, I wish we could click on it so we could see the back of it and everything. But that is very nice, Bonnie. Thank you for sharing. Okay, let's see. Ah, oh, it takes me back again. That's okay. And if you guys are not digging this format, and you're probably not where I'm sitting here digging around looking for these cells, let me know and I will put in the time and do the video the other way. So Shauna shares the next cell. Um, she says, thanks group for inspiring me to dig through the estate boxes. <clears throat> and she took a screenshot of her cell. So it is a vintage brass uterus shaped brooch female pin. Vintage stamped weird female ana anatomy, probably like a doctor's pen or something like that. But I would never have thought that you could get $42.50 for something like that. So that is very cool. Um, she says she bought it at an estate sale full of stuff and paid $300 for everything. I made it back before I even found this in the pile. So the cost came down to about $0.46 cents per item. So that's awesome, Shauna. Thank you so much for sharing that cell. Yep, even if I just hit the escape button, it takes me all the way back. That is frustrating. So the next one is from Maria. And she says, another jar of fine cell for full price, full asking price, $49.99. And I remember seeing the cell uh, when she posted it. <clears throat> I thought, oh my gosh, I love these earrings because I raise butterflies. So I love all things to do with butterflies. So let's scroll down and take a look. I really like it when you guys share your links so that we can um, look at your pictures closer, especially if there's any hallmarks or Maker's marks on the jewelry, it's always good for the viewers to be able to see that. So we have an idea of what we're looking for when we're out in the field. So Maria has um, taken some great pictures here and you can see all the hallmarks here on the back. And Maria just kills it with the jewelry. She, she lives in an awesome area where she's very fortunate to find amazing stuff every single week so thank you so much for sharing maria um let's see the next sale is from alicia she says i paid three dollars for this at a goodwill and it sold for 26 dollars and 95 95 cents plus shipping so let's see what it is it's a disney alice in wonderland bracelet wide chunky cheshire cat teacups rare Let's go down here and look at it. Come on, little MacBook, keep up with me. Oh, wow, how cool is that? I love that. Wow. Awesome sell. <clears throat> Thank you so much for sharing that, Alicia. Next one is from Maria. She has this Navajo bracelet that I bought just yesterday for $4.99 at Goodwill and it sold for $90. Oh my goodness, let's take a look at it. <clears throat> I 
Okay, so her title here reads Old Navajo Fred Harvey Era 925 Sterling Silver Turquoise Stamped Cuff Bracelet. It is gorgeous. Look at that. And I love her little prop here she has with her little display hand. I just forget to use my little display hands. Very nice. That's an amazing sale, Maria. Uh, next sale comes from Bonnie. Bonnie says, I sold this yesterday. 103 grams of assorted silver for $56. Many of these pieces would not have sold on their own, so I was glad to see it all go. I earned $18 over the scrap price. A sloop, a sloop copper is someone who wants to buy at a price just below the scrap price offered to the general public. Dealers always get more money for scrap. Okay, let me scroll down here. Okay, look, so she has all of her silver laid out here. Wow, Bonnie, that's awesome. Great deal. Thanks for sharing that. Always love to see the scrap sales for sure. Okay, the next sale is from Brenda. She says she bought this set for $2 at a community garage sale. I put my store on sale and it sold for $24.85 in about two months. So that is awesome. Let's take a look at it. Her title reads, Beautiful Coleman Sterling Silver Stone Form with Pearl Earrings Interchangeable. Oh, that is really nice. Lots of times in the jewelry jars, I'll see pieces like this and I'm like wondering where they are part of something. <clears throat> I know I found like big, like round things and I guess they were swatch, uh, swap outs like for to go on the watches, different colors. So that is really cool. $45, that's a lot of money. $2 into $45, thanks for sharing. Oh wait, that wasn't the same one. That one sold for $2, or she got it for two, and it sold for $24.85 in about two months time, she said. Okay, so here is her good sell. She says, I bought this one at the same garage sale. It took me a while to list. I paid $2 and it sold for $45 plus shipping. It took about five months to sell. Let's take a look at that one. Okay, so her title reads Vintage Estate Sterling Silver 925 Flower Filigree Cuff Bracelet Thailand 31 Grams. Yes, that is beautiful. I love the design of the bracelet too. I like how it's like curved like that. Very pretty. She's got all of her awesome props working here. Her ruler. And the display. I like it. Looks that looks like a wine glass she turned upside down. That's a really good idea. And here she has an up close of the uh, Maker's Mark Hallmark. I don't know. I guess it's fine jewelry, a Maker's Mark or Hallmark. I don't know. I always get it confused. Does it really matter? <laughs> I should know the difference. I guess fine jewelry would be Hallmark. And costume jewelry would be considered maker's mark. Okay, so awesome sales there, Brenda. Thank you so much for sharing. So Angela shares the sale. She says, my only jewelry sale from this time from a jewelry jar, about 50 cents. I have had these listed for a long time, but I think my other recent jewelry sale helped to raise 
this in search. So let's go take a look at it. So her title reads, Iridescent Aurora Borealis Rhinestone Crystal Dangle Earring Silver Tone Floral. These are gorgeous. I love these. So they sold for $11.95 plus $3.56 shipping. Very pretty. I love all the, uh, they call it AB stuff too. If you do a eBay search for AB earrings, the um, Aurora Borealis will also come up. So it's just a short little um, abbreviation that they use for that also. Uh, we got another sale from Alicia from a jewelry jar sold for $25 within two weeks. Even with bad pictures, she says, oh, no, let's go check out our listing. Oh, those are not bad pictures at all. I think they're really good. They're up close and they show a lot of detail. <coughs> Excuse me. Those are great pictures. And I like how you changed up the background and showed it on a different view too. Sometimes the black really pops for the jewelry. So I like to use that. So I think your pictures are great. Definitely. I can't believe you. Did you say you found this in a jewelry jar? Wow, I can't believe that was in a jewelry drawer. That's an awesome sale. Um, here we have one from Maria. Paid for this Brighton necklace, $7.99, and it just sold for $74.99. And guys, I tell you what, the Brighton jewelry, I know I've been mentioning this a lot lately, but it's really been selling for me. I have sold a piece on Poshmark now, and I have, you know, it's moving on eBay too. So her title reads, Brighton Beverly Necklace Chain Suitcase Charm Beads Enamel Crystals Two-Tone. And I have noticed this and I was wondering, I was thinking about making a post in the jury group. Is it just Brian, uh, Brian, Brighton who makes these like little heart clasp like this? Do you see how the clasp has like a little heart made into it? It's like part of the clasp. Because I have some pieces that I've seen like that that I don't see the little B uh, hang tag on there. And I'm wondering if it's Brighton because it looks like Brighton. But I don't know if that's like people trying to make vintage inspired jewelry and capitalize on the whole Brighton name. So I'll have to make a post about that and ask you guys in my group and see what you think. But yeah, that's an awesome sell. $7.99 and just $74.99. I will take that all day, every day. Great sell, Maria. Let's see. Our next sell comes from Hawk Miller. Uh, paid $0.75 cents in an auction lot. Took a best offer of $20 plus $3.50 .50 for shipping. So let's go check it out. <clears throat> We'll just make sure everything is looking okay over here and it looks like it is so let me get back over here <clears throat> excuse me you guys I'm trying to get sick over here okay so vintage stamped green glass brooch pin with no marks so this is great this just goes to say, show you that not every piece needs to have a maker's mark on it. You can still get really good money. And I like how she put it up to the light there. That's really nice. So you can see that really pretty green glass. And she's using her ruler. Wow, great pictures. I love the detailing on the edge there too. That is very pretty. That is a great sale. Thank you for sharing. As always, thank you to everybody for sharing. Let's see. Oh, this was a really good sale, you guys. So Maria says she sold this Sepalda bracelet that she got for $4.99. 
<clears throat> she sold it for a hundred and fifty four dollars and ninety nine cents. That is amazing. <laughs> It is a gorgeous bracelet, too. Look at that pretty blue color. This just reminds me of the ocean. It's so pretty. So our title reads, Sopata 925 Sterling Silver Aqua Blue Glass Bracelet Filigree. E 2093 Retired. <clears throat> Great pictures, too, Maria. Love that. So you guys be on the lookout for that Sopata stuff. Um, next sale is from Brenda. She says, I had this listed for eight days and sold for $89.77 plus shipping. I got this one from the same community sale. I paid either two or four dollars. I don't remember. <coughs> Let's see what we got here. The two or four dollars into 89. Not bad, huh? And from a community sale, almost every single community garage sale I've ever been to, there's always somebody, there's always one house, you know, you're going to find some jewelry at. So, and I love this bust form here, this display. That is so nice. And I think she uses this one for earrings too. I need to get me one of these. I really like it a lot. So, it's signed GR. Go see. Oh, and she weighed it too. Very good. Love that. Very nice. Wow, you guys had some awesome sales this week. Um, Maria has another one sold for seventy nine ninety nine. Purchased for five ninety nine. Solid 14 karat gold yellow small angel medallion necklace chain. Let's go check it out. Oh, wow, that is really pretty. I love that. Let's look at the back. Our guardian angel protects us. Protect us, 14K. Very nice, Maria. Oh, and she weighed it too. Awesome. That's always a good idea to do with the real gold, you guys. <clears throat> Next sale is from Jeanne. She says she sold on Sunday. I had it listed less than a week. I think I paid $2 for it at an estate sale. Oh no, and she says she even spelled silver wrong. Let's go see, it happens. We all make mistakes, nobody's perfect. <laughs> Don't be hard on yourself. Let's see. Our title reads, Vintage Strowing Silver Hummingbird on Flower Drop Dangle Hook Earrings Rare. These are gorgeous, and I know there's definitely a lot of people out there who love to collect the birds. Um, and especially the hummingbirds. They're so sweet and little and cute. So great pictures. Oh, and there's, there it is. All March 925. Awesome sale. So thank you, GM. Uh, here we have a sale from Debbie. She says, I took you on Angie's advice and upped my prices and sold this no-name set. Not bad. I paid $1.99 for the necklace and the earrings came in a huge lot. I got, wait, I got so probably a quarter. She says she paid for it. So let's go check out our listing. Close some of these other windows. So her title reads, Dark Green Stone. Necklace and pierced earring set, silver tone, metal, 20 inches. Oh, that's gorgeous, Debbie. I love that. Very nice. And that's a cute little, um, what do you call that? Like a little earring tree? That's really a cute way to display your earrings. And I love her ruler. Isn't it cute? <laughs> 
So very cool, Debbie. Thanks for sharing that. Uh, next cell is from the sweet Miss Catherine. She says, this was a $4.99 purchase of two bracelets online. One was a Tiffany that sold last week, and this one is a sterling carnelian. The stones look a little dark, but that is how the photo came out. Sold for $33. I had a best offer, but the buyer just bought it with no offer. They just outright bought it. So they're like, oh my goodness, I have to have this bracelet right now. I don't even want to make an offer. Just let me buy the bracelet. <laughs> so let's go check out her pictures, you guys. Okay, so her title reads, Sterling Silver 95 Chameleon Red Orange Gemstone Wire Wrapped Bracelet. This is such a pretty piece, Catherine. And I know that I don't really <clears throat> know a lot of my stones the way that I should. And you guys see it. Uh, har marked right there. It says Sterling 925. Um, I don't know a lot of my stones the way I should, and I can't imagine how many pieces I probably overlook that are for sale individually, and probably also even that come in jewelry jars, and I think I might not even have anything there. So always take the time to look at those clasps, that they're marked anything, you know, even if you're not sure what kind of stone it is. The, uh, the hardware on the piece might give you some kind of clue whether or not it's worth something. Awesome sale. Thanks for sharing, Catherine. Let's see. Next up is Victoria. She says, I throw all the watches I get from jewelry jars in a box and then list them. Yes, any one of them could have been worth more than the lot of, for, of 16 for $36.75. Had I taken the time to research them and find a different battery for each one and test them. Not interested in doing that. So for me, it's a quick flip to spend the money on jewelry that is sellable. <clears throat> I know I do the same thing. I've got a huge jar of uh, just watches because I don't make the time to sit down and research them. And I'm just kind of, I guess, hoarding them for lack of a better word. And I guess eventually I'll sit down and go through all of them or just sell them all as a lot. I'm thinking the next time I'm on the MSB auction show, I might just sell them all there because every time people sell lots of watches, they seem to sell really well. So her title reads 16 men's broken watch lot zodiac times casio elgin Helbros, and ben russ so that is definitely a good way to uh make some money there y'all and get some of your money back just lot up all that stuff and oh my gosh is that a burger king watch that's crazy yeah, but watches is something that I really wish I knew more about because I'm sure there's a lot of money to be made there. Uh, let's see. Then we have one here from Angela. Uh, and this might be our last one, you guys. Okay, so Angela says, I finally got around to having batteries put into some watches I found in jewelry jars. Oh, we were just talking about that. I found some sell for decent prices, and this week alone, I sold five of seven listed. Wow. Each was only about 50 cents plus $8 for the battery to be changed. My profit before fees is about $75. Holy moly. Okay, so she's going to share a couple that she sold. So let's check them out. Um... Because I know, like, you can buy batteries for watches at the Dollar Tree. But they're probably not that good a quality. I don't even think I've ever heard of this brand. Tokyo Bay Multi-Wrap Leather Wristwatch Silver New Battery. Um, so that is very cool. That's definitely a great idea to do that if you've got the time to put into doing a little research with those watches and working with the hardware. And looks like she has a fossil one too. Let's go down here and look at that. Okay, so Kata reads fossil F2 ladies dress watch embossed black leather band new battery dainty. What does EUC mean? In unused condition, maybe? What does that mean? I should know what that means, but I forgot. 
Okay, so let's check out our pictures. It sold for $29.95, not bad. So I would be interested to know where she is buying her batteries at. Let me see if she said that each was only about 50 cents plus $8 for the battery. So Angela, I would like to know where you're buying your batteries and why you're paying so much for them. Is it because they're good quality? Um, maybe you don't know the Dollar Tree sells them or you don't trust the Dollar Tree because they're cheap. I don't know. But either way, I would love to hear your advice on this because I, I might give it a try too. I mean, I have done a couple watches and I've listed them, but it's, they're really slow moving for me. But um, I imagine if I got, if I was to get a whole bunch of them listed, I could really, you know, make some good profit with that. Um, so I want to thank everybody for joining me for this video. I know it was crazy and a little bit choppy. I hope you like this new format that I'm experimenting with. You guys, it saves me a ton of time. Uh, not having to open all those windows prior to this and write everything down on paper because I can just see it here on Facebook. Uh, so I hope you guys will be okay with this format. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. And I hope that all of you, if you're not already a member, will come subscribe to our Facebook group, Thrifty Jewelry Treasures on Facebook. And uh, please hit the like button if you enjoyed this content and subscribe. And we will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, everybody.